guys, look at what I have. Another package, okay. Makes sense. Hey, look, it's another package. So this is what we're talking about. iPod parts. We are going to be fixing some iPods today. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our parts. We have the faceplate for the seventh gen. We have the faceplate for the fifth gen. Here's a backplate for the seventh gen. Some tools and some batteries. Repair parts. Here's an eye flash kit and a little metal thingy. We're gonna be building the flagship seventh gen. But before we do that, uh, I need to give this a new front plate and a battery. So let's go ahead and do that. With the magical power of video editing, I'll time lapse this part. So let's go ahead and take this apart and open it. So the iPod works now with a new enclosure on it. Let's go ahead and put a screen protector on. All right, screen protector on. Feels very, very nice. Let's go ahead and get some bubbles out. This iPod is complete. Let's go ahead and move on to the seventh gen. All right, so now that we have the fifth gen fixed, let's go ahead and move on to the seventh gen. I ordered this iPod broken off of eBay. It has a dead hard drive, so it's a perfect opportunity to replace the hard drive with an iFlash and uh, replace the battery and all sorts of cool and fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get this package open. And there we have it. Uh, it's an iPod, all right. The buttons are a bit mushy. The hold switch is also a bit sad. First things first, let's go ahead and plug it in. Yep, that's a low battery symbol. Let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my Firewire and see if it boots up after that. All right, so I just went and got this hookup onto Firewire. Apparently the drive is dead, just like the description said. Um, let's go ahead and crack it open. Finally in. Let's go ahead and disconnect the battery connector. It's very dusty in here. There's a tiny screw that slipped out. This hard drive is bad. There, there, the screw is missing from this hard drive, so I'm pretty sure that screw is from this hard drive. All right. Let's go ahead and disconnect these two halves. Okay, we're going to remove these screws on this side. So we can go ahead and slide the front cover up. Clean all of that dust off. Wow, that is a lot of dust. This is very dusty. This frame is quite bent, actually. I'm probably not going to use this frame. This is the display. Go ahead and remove these two small screws down here. 
Okay, and now the motherboard should come out. Let's go ahead and detach the clip wheel. And then we can go ahead and clean it off. Super dirty. All right, now that we have all this cleaned up and ready to go, let's go ahead and get the new parts out. Here are all of the new parts. Okay, we have an eye flash. We have a back plate and we have a battery. We also have the front plate with a center cap and another framey thing. All right, now that we have all the dust cleaned up, we can go ahead and start reassembling this. The cook wheel, we just go ahead and thread that in. Go ahead and put that in. Go ahead and screw in the tiny screws that are holding the logic board to the frame. Okay, now we can go ahead and put the display back in. The display is now in. Let's go ahead and put the new front cover on. Uh, now is a good time to wipe off all the dust using a microfiber cloth because we do not want any fingerprints underneath our screen. Then we can go ahead and get our new center button, which is right here. And put this in. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put in the eye flash. Let's go ahead and put my SD card inside here. Now we can go ahead and put this battery on. Okay, moment of truth. Yes! Use iTunes to restore! We have successfully uh, flash modded this iPod. Now, we have to put in the screws onto the sides, obviously. Um, I forgot to do that. And then, let's replace the back plate. Let's go ahead and replace the back powerphone jack assembly. Okay, now let's transfer it onto the spec. Alright, now that I have all the headphone jack and stuff in, I'll go ahead and attach the battery. Before we seal it up, we have to go ahead and test it. All right, it says use iTunes to restore. All right, it is now working. I think. Go ahead and do a test boot. All right, let's go ahead and close it back up. Okay, so finally we are done with all of these. So this one works just as fine as it used to do. I have fresh OS on here. It looks like it's fine. So this one, I haven't broken it in any way. This one was already broken. I edited this part out, but uh, you can see that there's a scratch here. This wasn't here when I put this together. I had to take this apart again because I forgot this plate at the bottom. I snapped it together again, and then I took it apart again because the quick wheel started breaking down and uh, the eye flash was kind of broken. So I had to take it apart a total of three times, um, but finally I've got it working. So yeah, I have the eye flash mod inside with fresh OS on here. It works perfectly. So I would call this a success. That blue back also looks really cool. So. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want me to make a, like a full guide of, on how to repair and mod these iPods, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. Uh, otherwise, 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye.